has kind of a minimal amount in use of door primary mounted door seals. And I have some experience in this realm as I was actually an FCA engineer for uh, door seals and body closures in the body in white department uh, in Michigan before uh, moving out, out of that role. So it's very interesting in terms of Audi's design philosophy in terms of their door primary seals. They use a single bolt design here that's taped on seals using, I believe, 3M pressure sensitive adhesive that goes underneath the, uh, the door seal. Um, and it's a one piece that doesn't have any molds that goes around the entire perimeter of the door. It's robotically applied, which means that the robot actually picks up the door and applies the door seal all around using only tape and pressure sensitive adhesive. Usually it's a 3M EX4311 series tape that's used. Um, and you also notice that the door primary seal goes all the way to the hem edge of the door inner panel, which allows very minimal sound to be able to intrude into the cabin. It also allows the door to seal as far away from the occupants along this edge. So that way when they get out of the car and their pant leg gets on a dirty piece here, you can see this is the ceiling line. It seals on this radius here and allows your pants to be clean if you were to wipe it here and seals way down here. Reducing noise, uh, reducing all of those, um, uh, all the dirt that comes onto your pants and reducing the noise inside the cabin. Front door is the same philosophy. You notice you don't see it as much on the outside here because the door needed to have its clo a close out in order to meet the architecture of the rear door. But down here, it meets all the way down at the hem edge. So that seals way down here on this bottom radius right here on the, uh, the, the, the sill of the car. And that's actually really impressive. It reduces the amount of seals and in terms of manufacturing bill of material cost and manufacturing logistics you don't need to have a separate sill seal that's mounted on the body side or mounted underneath the car you see that on chrysler 300s um, as well as like the new jeep grand cherokee as well as the ram 1500 you're going to see things like that where you have a sill mounted seal in addition to a door primary seal you also do not have a rear fender closeout seal which would usually be mounted back here a little bit farther outside of this door primary seal or mounted on the body right here to close out dirt from getting inside here or creating a whistling noise in this area. You don't need to have that on this car because the door seals are positioned as far out on that, as far out on that perimeter of that door as possible. That's really impressive that Audi was able to do that. It's really enabled by the fact that you can robotically apply the seal and you don't need to have packaging space for those uh, push pins that typically go inside of a door primary seal on a car. So very neat fact and I will say it doesn't have a door defender front cut line seal because you get the closeout needed by the fact that Audi does their sheet metal design so well and actually the fender shingles over the front door when you close it and that's why you have this extra rad here radius. And that creates a very seamless look with a gap that doesn't have any black between it. It's almost like a gap hider. So it creates a very seamless, streamlined look that, uh, you know, is indicative of a very expensive car.